Well, if you drive through Middletown, you probably know them pretty well. We're talking about those red lights on Route 9, the stretch of road sees a lot of crashes and traffic delays, but now you can weigh in on plans to get rid of those lights for good. NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin has reaction. Hard to believe, but the state has been looking at getting rid of the traffic lights here for about 20 years. Now there are two plans on how to do that. First responders racing to another crash on Route 9 in Middletown on Sunday. It's a dangerous stretch. My husband's been rear-ended before getting in front um, in front of like the canoe club. Um, so, you know, we it's just it's horrible having the stop signs and the stoplights. Many drivers in favor of removing two traffic signals in this area, which can lead to crashes and traffic backup. Coming south, they're entering rush hour and there's a ton of accidents over there. On um, the two on ramps, and it's just a miserable place to drive. On this section, there were 350 crashes over three years, with 86 people being hurt, according to state data. This week, the state Department of Transportation is welcoming community participation and input as solutions are investigated to improve safety and reduce congestion. And they want to make Route 9 quicker, make the traffic flow faster. So if they could take those lights out of there, they back up, especially at, um, you know, like at the peak hours in the morning and at night. Right now, two options are being considered that remove the lights and reconfigure the on and off ramps. The Route 9 public workshop will be taking place over two days. Wednesday, it's from 10 until 4, and on Thursday, it's from 6 until 10 at night. You know, it's like you're going 60, 65 miles an hour and all of a sudden you're at zero. So I think anything that they can do to remove them would be great. Now both sessions will be taking place at Middletown City Hall. People are encouraged to drop in at any time. In Middletown, Matt Austin, NBC, Connecticut News.